Hey everybody, welcome to this eighth video in this series of tutorials on how to use Pixlr E. This video is going to be all about the crop tool, which is a pretty simple tool, but it's very powerful. So let's go ahead and just start by using an image from the stock image library here. And this one's um, doing something from New York, and let's do this Statue of Liberty. You can really choose any image you want for this if you're following along. So I have a picture of a Statue of Liberty here. And now I'm going to um, edit this image by cropping it. The crop tool is this one here. It looks like two right angles that are put together. And cropping is a little bit different from resizing. In a sense, you are resizing your image, but you're doing it not by keeping any part of your image. You're actually trimming the edges off of it. Um, so for example, I can grab uh, the corner of here, click and hold my mouse and bring this box down. And now I can crop and trim everything else off my image except this part. Now right here you can see that uh, it's grayed out or um, sort of darkened the edges that it's that I'm trimming off. And now I could click apply up here and it'll actually trim those off. And now my image is just what I cropped out. I'm going to undo that though for a second. And let's look at some of the other things you can do with cropping. Um, you can control really, really precisely how you crop right here by changing these numbers. So I can choose like, you know, 500 or whatever, and um, really control the, the width and height to, to be exactly what I want it to be by typing it in here. And then it gives me the box that I can move around. Uh, and then, of course, hit apply. Um, this straighten here also gives you the ability to, let's say you took a photo, but the photo was slightly tilted you can actually straighten your image out a little bit right here as well, which is a pretty cool thing to do, especially if you're doing your own photography. Um, I've had it before where it was a little bit, it seemed like it was a little bit off. You can straighten it out that way. Um, another thing that you can do is set the different constraints. And this is sort of like back with the arrange tool, your aspect. Um, Right now, the way it is, is I can make my cropped area any size that I want it to be. I can be have it just be just right on the Statue of Liberty like that, like I want it to. But you can actually set a specific ratio. Let's say you're cropping a photo and you want to get it printed out. And you want it to be just the size of like a 4 by 6 picture. Or maybe you want it to be just the size of, a, of a, an exact square. So you can click on ratio right here and you can choose the ratio one to one right here. That would be a square. Or maybe if I wanted it to be um, a four by six photo like you would get printed, I could choose, you know, six width and four height. And now that would let me crop it and I would be it would give me just the exact size, just the exact size for that photo. Um, you can also choose a size where it gives you um, uh, gives you it in pixels rather than in ratio. But I encourage you just to mess around and try different things with this crop tool. 